One such example of how good he was with the fisticuffs, and of course, take this with a grain of salt, came in the form of a professional boxer. Seems that pugilists would travel to Billings and put on fighting expeditions. One saloon thought it'd be a good idea to have Johnson square up with one of these pros and, not wanting to back down, the liver eater agreed. And the boxer probably didn't have any problem with it either. You know, he was probably like 20 years younger than Johnson, and all he saw was what looked to be a broken down, gray-haired old man. Feared it'd be an easy day's work. Well, he figured wrong. To the boxer's dismay and the crowd's enjoyment, old, decrepit John Johnson made quick work of the so-called professional. I guess they don't teach mountain fighting over there in them fancy boxing schools. And I don't know what that means. Uh, that, That just came out of my mouth. Anyway, that was the extent of Johnson's boxing career, but it was not the last of him putting on a good show. By 1884, he left Colson and joined up with the Hardwick's Wild West Show, one of the many Old West circus-type shows that formed around this time. 